My guy, my brother, my blood. You know, get waiting for from Sky. We ground nothing carry. We have been through a lot, and we still stand strong. If you remember, together we overcame monsters, battled the darkness, and even survived loss. But we became unbreakable. Unstoppable. So guy, shake off the bad vibe. Face the world with your full chest. Because this life, <laughs> forget you and me. Now we go run out. There is for Deen, Al Islam, religion with Allah since time began. There is for Dik, remembering Allah, and Ra is for the month of Ramadan. Oh, Ramadan. There is for Zakah to cure our greed when we give our money to those in need. There is for Salamun Alaikum. Alhamdulillah Wassalatu wassalam ala ashrafil mursaleen Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahabati ajma'in Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh In the name of Allah most gracious, most merciful We bear witness to his oneness And we testify to the messengership and prophethood of Muhammad May Allah's peace and blessings continue to abide in the prophet his companions and followers, and all of you good Muslims out there who are watching this program. Today, inshallah, we want to look at uh, Ramadan as a month of philanthropy. What is philanthropy? Philanthropy is the act of or a gesture which a Muslim extends to other Muslims for their benefit while he is seeking the pleasure of Almighty Allah. Because as we all know, that Allah is the provider for all and sundry. And he has given some more than the other. He has given some abundance of wealth. He has restricted it for some people. Therefore, Allah wants those who have to share from what they have and give to those who don't have. And Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, we are now commencing another month of Ramadan, a month where philanthropy is highly encouraged in this month because it is the injunction of, of Almighty Allah that those who have should give to those who don't have because Allah is the ultimate owner of all the resources at our disposal. And that is why he says, Wafi Wafi amwalihim haqqum ma'alum. Allah says, from your wealth, give to those who ask and those who are deprived. You must share in. It's a command. Allah says, In Quran, chapter 57, Surah Al-Hadid. And give them from what we have made you trustee over. Give those, spend from what we have made you a trustee. You are a trustee on those wealth that you are claiming are yours. Allah is the ultimate owner. When he says in Quran chapter 24, Surah to nur Wa atu ladi atakum. Give them from the wealth of Allah that He has given you. He has placed you at the to be the disposer. And it's a trial for you. It's a trial for you and me that we share with others particularly in this blessed month of Ramadan, a month in which Allah's charity, Allah's mercy envelopes the entire world. When he says, all those who want to enter Al-Jannah are, well, are welcome. They are allowed. Ya baagi al-khair, haqbil. Wa ya baagi al-shar, aqsir. 
walillahi utaqaw min an-nar let those who are desirous of good let them come forward here is an opportunity and let those who desire evil let them stay back let them move back and for allah is emancipation for from hell fire to paradise therefore you must seek this opportunity because you never know if another ramadan we meet you on the surface of the earth give out from what allah has given you in this month of ramadan and it's a month in which allah subhanahu wa ta what you can call a leveler ramadan is a leveler in the sense that both the poor and the rich those who have and those who don't have they all must observe the same schedule of eating and drinking throughout this month when sahur breaks till iftar you should not eat neither should you drink neither neither, neither should you copulate with your spouse you are supposed to observe that as a commandment from almighty allah when allah says ya ayyuhal ladina amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyam kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun who you will believe fasting has been prescribed on you as it was prescribed for those who came before you that you may learn fear of allah that you may imbibe taqwa that you may imbibe self discipline this is what ramadan is all about is a month of giving because the prophet sallam said yadul uliya khairun min yad sufla the hand above is better than the ones below therefore you must cultivate the habit of giving because whatever you give in this month is for your own sake allah does not need the money wa ma tunfiku min shay min khairin fali anfusikum in surah al baqarah whatever you give in this month is for your own sake because it's like you are saving just like when you engage in contribution in the susu when you engage in the susu when you are contributing when you are contributing a time will come that it gets to your turn now <laughs> it is not certain that it will get to your turn why because some amongst you who are contributing may die and once he dies he's not going to contribute any longer and also you yourself too may die you may not live to the time when it will get to your turn then another another possibility is that some may not pay when it gets to your own turn so you may not at the end of the day get your own share but wa ma tunfiku min khairin fali anfusikum whatever you give with allah is for your own sake allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will receive it and he will keep it somewhere for you and then it will never decrease that will never decrease that will continue to multiply allah himself will also be nurturing it for you till the last day such that by the time you meet it with allah it's like as big as mount ud of gold which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will preserve for you and you will never regret it for it is sure it is like you are saving obeme oh i wish you were here i'm always with you but it's not the same without you MTN5G's amazing technology will change how we experience life and the internet. Get ready to encounter the incredible and remember, no be juju na MTN5G. If you feed someone who is a needy, if you give, uh, pay for the hospital bill of someone who is sick, if you pay for the school fees of someone who is a needy, 
If you take care of an orphan, if you take care of a widow in this month, you are only storing your wealth till the hereafter. So philanthropy in Islam is highly encouraged in this month and we must take part of it. Beware of something. Beware of something. Now, when you give, it brings rest of mind. But if you don't give, you will not have rest of mind because you have, you will have uh, made yourself a target for the criminals. And then you will have invited calamities of monumental dimension to affect you because you refuse to give from what Allah has asked you to give. And in Islam, this is not played with. This is not toyed with. Giving so that after observing Salat, the next thing, the Salat is between you and Allah. But the Zakat is between you and Allah and His creatures. If you don't give, if you give Allah His due and you don't give the creatures their due, you are still, you are still, you have not still sought the pleasure of Allah. You must give and take care of His creatures. If you don't take care of his creatures, you are creating we are, you are creating insecurity in the society. So philanthropy is a highly desirable act that one can use to seek the pleasure of Almighty Allah, to blot out your sins, to give you the to, to preservation of that wealth as well. You are preserving your wealth by giving out from, of, from it to, towards those channels which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as enjoined on us to give because that is what will create balance social balance in the society in fact it will also give economic balance in society redistribution of wealth those who have and those who don't have you try to blot out that dichotomy between those who have and those who don't have because you know you give them their right and when you give them their right they too will be praying for you and you yourself, you, be, you feel free to move about because once you give, you have incurred the pleasure of Almighty Allah. But when you hold, you, you, when you withhold, you have incurred the wrath of Almighty Allah. Prophet Sallallahu said in Anadisi Kutsi, Ya Ibn Adam, Amfik, Umfik Alik, O child of Adam, give, I too will spend and protect you. If you give, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala assures you that it will protect you. It will protect your wealth. It will protect your family. It will protect your properties. It will protect, protect all your engagements, all your endeavors, and you will have that divine blessing. Blessing will come to your wealth and you'll be protected and you'll be preserved till the end of time. Therefore, brothers and sisters in Islam, we invite you to come and participate to come and collaborate with Sakat and Sadaka Foundation so that we can redistribute the resources through this blessed month of Ramadan. It's a month of philanthropy. It's a month of giving. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you abundance of wealth to share with his creatures so that our society can be proud of it. Our society can experience peace, harmony, and tranquility. Until next time when I hope to come your way again, I remain yours in Islam and you didn't use saying Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That is for Deen, Al Islam, religion with Allah since time began. That is for Dik, remembering Allah and rise for the month of Ramadan. Oh, Ramadan. That is for zakah to cure our greed When we give our money to those in need Sa is for salamun alaykum Peace be with you wa alaykum as-salam